Hey, welcome back. I know, clickbaity title, but I wanted to update you on some news that just came out from OpenAI's Sam Altman about the race for larger and larger models. It seems that that race is pretty much over, according to Altman. At an MIT event that Altman was speaking at, he said that this race for larger and larger models has pretty much come to its conclusion. And to reach the next 10x, the next order of magnitude improvement in AI, it's going to take new ideas and new technologies. The limitation seems to be around transformers themselves. Transformers are the technology that really powered this whole new wave of large language models. but Adding more and more parameters seems to have a diminishing return at this point. I think a good highlight of that is looking at the GPT 3.5 to GPT 4 upgrade, where a lot of people said, and I read this in a few places, that this was gonna be an enormous increase in the number of parameters, hundreds of trillions of parameters for GPT-4 as compared to GPT-3.5. But that turned out not to be the case. There was only a minor increase in the number of parameters to GPT-4, but they were able to get so much better performance out of it. And so really what it comes down to is the data quality at this point. The data quality and new technologies that we don't know yet. Maybe it'll be evolutions of the transformer model. Maybe it'll be something completely new. So let's take a look at what Sam said. I think we're at the end of the era where it's going to be these like giant, giant models. We'll make them work in other ways. Meanwhile, numerous well-funded startups, including Anthropic, AI21, Cohere, and Character.ai are throwing enormous resources into building ever larger algorithms in an effort to catch up with OpenAI's technology. Altman's statement suggests that GPT-4 could be the last major advance to emerge from OpenAI's strategy of making the models bigger and feeding them more data. He did not say what kind of research strategies or techniques might take its place. Here it says, OpenAI says its estimates suggest diminishing returns on scaling up the model size. Altman said there are also physical limits to how many data centers the company can build and how quickly it can build them. So it's really looking for less expensive, essentially lower hanging fruit to get much more performance out of the existing parameter size models. Nick Frost, a co-founder at Cohere, who previously worked on AI at Google, says Altman's feeling that Going bigger will not work indefinitely rings true. He believes that progress of transformers, the type of machine learning model at the heart of GPT-4 and its rivals, lies beyond scaling. Now, they're not saying that these models aren't going to get better. They're just saying that adding more and more parameters is not going to be the solution to do so. There are lots of ways of making transformers better, way better and more useful, and lots of them don't involve adding parameters to the model. So new AI model designs, architectures, and further tuning based on human feedback are promising directions. So that's what they're working on. We're guessing that's also what uh, OpenAI is working on. And this makes a lot of sense, especially looking at Greg Brockman's tweet from last week where he basically said, yeah, we're gonna be working on GPT-4 for a while. We're not training GPT-5 at least not yet. So let's quickly take a look at Greg Brockman's tweet. We spent more than six months testing GPT-4, making it safer, built it on years of alignment research that we pursued in anticipation of models like GPT-4. He's basically saying, look, we've invested a ton to get to GPT-4. We're not just gonna ditch it and try to upgrade to the next model, whatever that may be. So here he says, we expect to continue to ramp our safety precautions more proactively than many of our users would like. So what he's saying is a lot of users want better performance, but they're focused on safety. This is probably a response to that open letter, but maybe they were already thinking about this. And this next line is very, very interesting. We believe and have been saying in policy discussions with governments that powerful training runs should be reported to governments, be accompanied by increasingly sophisticated predictions of their capabilities and impact and require best practices such as dangerous capability testing. I have not heard that from OpenAI yet, but I'm glad to see that. I am all for innovation and pushing the limits, but we certainly need to take a moment and think about what the possibilities are for these large language models and really protect ourselves against the worst outcomes. So it looks like what OpenAI is gonna be focused on is scaling GPT-4, getting it into more hands, investing in its safety, finding new architectures and technologies to get more out of these models at the current parameter size, 
and continuing to get better data, fine tune the data, and using RLHF, reinforcement learning through human feedback, to continuously improve GPT-4. And it looks like GPT-5 is not coming anytime soon, and that's totally fine. I just wanna see more performance out of GPT-4, and I certainly want them to increase my rate limit because uh, a couple dozen messages every three hours is definitely not enough. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.